This is an ultrasound study of an obstructive jaundice due to mass head of the pancreas with a strength placed in the common bile duct and seen passing through the mass as well with the dilated uh, common bile duct as well as the intrahepatic bile ducts. Now, the liver parenchyma is otherwise normal. The outer surface is smooth, the edge is sharp. Now, these channels that you are seeing are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. Now these extend up to the periphery of the uh, liver and are tortuous. I am giving a sweep below the costal margin, margin with probe or transducer angled towards the head of the patient and then maneuvering it towards the right shoulder can see that there is sludge in the gallbladder. Second finding is sludge in the gallbladder. This is the now this is the gallbladder. This is the sludge. This is the common bile duct that is dilated up to 17 millimeters. This is the uh, portal vein and this sharp tiny structure giving posterior shadow is the strength in transverse section within the CBD. Here you see, now this will be a better view to see the strength. Now the strength is seen patent. This is the strength. This is the common bile This one. This is the portal vein in transverse section. This is the portal. Uh, this is the common bile duct. And this linear structure, tubular structure, seen within the lumen of the uh, common bile duct, is the stent. This is the stent, and is patent as thin, clear, black tiny linear area is seen within this stem. Now, actually why this stem has been placed is because of uh, mass head of the pancreas. This is the This is the mass head of the pancreas. This is the stent seen in transverse section. This is the dilated pancreatic duct, and the pancreatic duct is dilated up to 8.3. Significant in large. This bright structure is the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct. This is the mass relating to the head of the pancreas. This is the stent within passing through this mass. This is the subplanic vein, this is the superior mesenteric artery transfer section, this is the outer. Okay. Let's study a little further. Now you see that uh, this stent is passing through the mass in longitudinal section. <coughs>
three years CPD is seen directly to be spent and this is the distal end of the CPD from where the mass starts and relates to the head of the pancreas. Gases are interrupting the view of it. However, you can make out that this is the stent. This is the mass relating to the head of the pancreas, approximately measuring. 3.6 into 3.0 centimeters. This is the gallbladder. This is the wall of the gallbladder. This is the sludge within it. Here is the clear bile. This is the mass waiting to the head of the pancreas. And we can trace the common bile that up to its distal end. The length of the CBD is 9.2 centimeters and at the region of Porta Hepatis it measures approximately 18.4 millimeters. The length, if you can provide the length to the surgeon, it becomes easy for the surgeon to uh, decide what surgical technique he is going to use if surgical intervention is done. Now here you see this is the strength again passing into the CPD here, dilated CPD that we can trace the length of the CBD, dilated CBD, there we are. Now this is the common bile duct, this is the hepatic artery in transfer section, this is the portal vein, these are the dilated hepatic uh, uh, intrahepatic bile ducts. They are dilated at all levels and they extend up to the periphery of the level. Now this view demonstrates you the dilated channels within the level. So this is the case of obstructive jaundice because of mass at the head of the pancreas with the stent placed in a, in a dilated common bile duct as well as the patient stent. And then we see gallbladder sludge as well as the dilated pancreatic duct with uh, are the associated findings due to the mass relating to the head of the pancreas. Thank you.